What is up everybody? How you doing today? My name is David Franco and welcome back to What Sold on eBay. This is episode 14. Yeah, 14. Guys, the last time I uploaded an episode in this series was on, let me see, um, June 15th, 2022. Now, did I lose interest in selling on eBay? Absolutely not. I ship items pretty much every single week. But then I created something called Creative Finance. I put a year of focus into that, which actually resulted in starting over with that eBay series. And then Creative Finance for me in the long run, it just wasn't worth it. Meaning I would just much rather focus on this, focus on my streaming, focus on web design, thrifting and all that stuff. Uh, so I figured why not bring that eBay love back to here, my main channel. So guys, welcome back. We are officially back to what's sold on eBay. This is episode 14. Now I realize, I mean, guys, look at the views on this. 1,400, 1,600, 1,500, 2,500, 1,800, 12,000. That one did pretty well because it was more focused on gaming. But my point is eBay videos are not popular at all on my channel. But you know what, guys? I am done focusing on chasing high numbers, chasing high likes. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I only live once. And for those who do enjoy these eBay videos, welcome back. And well, I hope you enjoy. This is episode 14, and I have quite a bit to talk about today. Yeah, there's only six items I'm talking about, but these items made me quite a bit of money. And um, hey, if I can do it, so can you. Okay, so first up is a Panasonic SLPD365 5 disc compact disc changer. Tested, works great, no remote. Now, I'm usually pretty hesitant on buying such large objects for obvious reasons. Packaging is a pain in the ass. And while even then, even if you do package it perfectly, there's always a chance something this large, this breakable can do just that. It can break. Okay, so thankfully I already received positive feedback on this, saying it was well packaged and it works perfectly. Now, I don't know exactly how much I paid for this unit, uh, but my guess is between five and $10. And I sold it for an item subtotal of $47.20. I charged the buyer $20 for shipping when in reality it just cost me $16.46. I paid $9.58 in eBay fees, $2.84 in sales tax, but so did the buyer. And finally, I spent $5.60 to advertise this, thus resulting in $35.00. And 56 cents profit, not counting what I paid. Again, probably like five or 10. So, yeah, I mean, let's just say I made roughly $30 on this unit alone. Not bad for something so large and, again, kind of a pain in the ass to ship. But you gotta do what you gotta do as an eBay seller. And speaking of large units, this one's not as large, but still, it requires a bit of packaging. This is the Toshiba M455 VCR forehead VCR, uh, I'm sorry, VHS player and recorder. Tested, powers on, no remotes. Yes, I actually did test this myself. And as you can probably see, if you pay attention to my vlogs, this is my old setup in my uh, basement. Okay, so obviously I still have my setup in my basement, but this is completely moved, guys. Uh, but anyway, my point is this unit sat in storage for a while. I would have predict maybe at least a year. But hey, it finally sold for an item subtotal of $31.20. The buyer paid, let me see, $7.48 in shipping and I paid $7.93 so I lost a little bit on shipping. Transaction fees $5.67, ad fee standard $2.03, sales tax $1.88, final order earnings $23.05 and I probably got this for like five bucks. So let's just roughly say I made $15 to $18 which I don't think is bad. Okay, this one not nearly as exciting uh, because well it didn't make me a ton of money. But hey, it's always fun selling video games because I'm a gamer, a gamer at heart, always have been, always will be. So I understand the video game market extremely well. And got to be honest, video games are by far my favorite thing to buy because they're often worth some, some good money besides this one, of course. And they're incredibly, incredibly easy to ship, meaning, well, you just slip them into a padded envelope, you slap your label on and you're good to go. Okay, so this sold for $7.95. Buyer paid $4 in shipping. I spent $384 in shipping. eBay fees $198. Sales tax $0.72. Cents, and I did not advertise this. So final order earnings $6.13. Minus what I paid was probably about $3 or 
So roughly speaking, I made about two bucks. But wait, before I lose your interest, you guys will want to stay tuned for this because I'm jumping into it right now. I found the holy grail of sports games. Now, if you're looking to get into, you know, selling video games, take my advice, avoid most sports games. And by that, I mean Madden, NHL. All those games are usually worth like, no joke, two to $8, maybe $10 max. It depends on how old the game is. But NCAA 14 is the final NCAA game they made in a while. And yes, I understand there's a new one coming. So the value of this could drop quite a bit. But I was so lucky to find this at Goodwill about a week or two ago. I paid, I think, like $5. I listed it and it sold within 24 hours, which blew my mind. And guys, I sold it for $114 item subtotal, that is. Originally, I wanted $119. Uh, but I think they offered me 114, which I thought was weird. I thought they would offer me lower, but I was like, okay, I'd be kind of stupid to not take $114 for a game that I found for just five bucks. Shipping, I charged $1. Yeah, I could have done free, but at the same time, a dollar shipping looks appealing to buyers, right? And final order earnings after fees, which by the way, were $15.54 and $4.02 and for shipping, $95.00 and 44 cents. $95 for a game that cost me five bucks at Goodwill. Now, obviously, I'm not going to find this each and every single day. But guys, I'm just saying, go to thrift stores and look for games like NCAA 14. Easy money, guys. Easy, easy money. Okay. Speaking of easy money, this was actually a pretty fun flip, and it's sold within a week of listing it, I believe. This is a Fallout New Vegas uh, strategy guide with poster map. Now the overall condition was okay. And I forget if I said that, but actually you can see right here, I clearly showed that some of the pages were creased. It was kind of yellowed, but at the same time, this book may have always been yellowed because it has that fallout old vintage vibe going on. But still, hey, it's sold guys. I sold it for $29 plus shipping, $6.49 for the buyer. And for me, it was 561. And yes, this does classify as media mail. So shipping, despite the heavy weights and somewhat large size, hey, it shipped for less, which is pretty cool. Sales tax, $1.74. Final order earnings, $24.01. And I probably got this for like $4. So let's just say I made 20 bucks um, off of something that cost me four bucks. Okay, last but not least, this is a huge deal. I'm a horror movie buff. Never got in the Hellraiser, um, but about two weeks ago, I saw this bag. And guys, this is a very common thing at Goodwill. You need to look at what's inside these bags. Oftentimes, you can find plastic bags filled with toys and small plushies and toys from McDonald's, Burger King, you know, wherever. But this one caught my eye because it was a bunch of horror movie action figures from Freddy Krueger to Hellraiser Chatterer, and I'll show that in a second. To some others, I forget already. Actually, I think Jason Voorhees was in there as well, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, guys, I had a really good feeling about the bag because it was like $5 for maybe like six or seven figures. And in that bag, I saw this. Now, keep in mind, I didn't know this is worth a lot of money until I got home and I started doing some research. I couldn't believe it. This figure, after you do the math, rough math, and I can't even tell you the exact number. Again, the bag cost me $5, maybe six or seven figures. So let's just say roughly this cost me between 50 cents and a dollar. And I turned that into, let me pull up my figures on the right here, an item subtotal of $75. Something that cost me less than a dollar. I sold for $75. Isn't that crazy? Absolutely insane. One of my best finds ever. And shipping, I charged on purpose $6.66. You get it, 666. A little bit of dark humor, but I thought it was pretty cool. Sales tax, 769. And by the way, shipping actually cost me 562. So even then, I still saved money on shipping. eBay fees, $12.14. Final order earnings, $63.90. So let's just roughly subtract 90 cents. Let's just assume I turned about a dollar into $63. That's insane, guys. That is absolutely crazy. Now, that money's not going to 
change my life. It's not exactly paying my mortgage, but I'm just saying like this stuff is out there. Just get out there, guys. Look around, browse your thrift stores. Oh, and by the way, this bag of toys was just put out today. So do what I do. Go as often as you should. On average right now, I go to Goodwill about five times a week. It's part of my daily routine. I wake up, I purge my inbox to the best of my ability, work on some website stuff, maybe catch up on YouTube videos, go out, go to Goodwill, and then I hit up McDonald's or somewhere for lunch. Um, and guys, it's paying off. I am there all the time, and I'm so glad I went there that day. Also, guys, let's not forget, this is just one figure of like six or seven figures that I listed. Now, this is the most expensive one I'm selling, but other figures I also have listed for like $29, $45, so this is just the beginning. Anyway, guys, I'm just proud of this sale. Between this figure and NCAA 14, eBay is looking really good lately. And well, there you have it, guys. What's Sold on eBay, episode 14. The series is officially back. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new from this video. And please, speaking of learning something new, if you have any questions and or feedback for me, let me know in the comment section right below and I'll do my best to reply to you. And finally, I'll say it again, get out there, get shopping, buy some things, guys, because I can't say it enough. If I can do it, then so can you. Thanks for watching.